So if you guys are patient with us and you want to see, go ahead and tweet this out right away because we're getting ready to show some really awesome videos with a continuation of Patty's story from last week. Patty, you want to give us a little leadway on this video coming up? Um, sure, sure. Um, uh, let me say those that weren't here last week and just a little backstory. Um, I back. I used to go through a seasonal depression, and uh, it always happened in the summertime. And so this one summer in 2008, I could feel this depression coming on again. And I was about to go to the doctor to get something to help. And the Sunday before I was going to go to the doctor, I looked out my backyard and I saw this red thing out in the backyard. And I went out there and it was this beautiful dragonfly. And so that's what this series is about, just my journey um, and how this red dragonfly helped lift my depression. My focus was on the dragonfly, not on the depression. And it was just a magical time. <laughs> So this, um, this next video, this would be day six, and it's when I got, uh, I started doing more video instead of just taking photos. So um, uh, I think day six is when I'm using a mister bottle. I had a mister bottle, like for a plant, and I would, I would spray a couple of sprays in the air, like kind of in the area that he would have showed up in, and he would come zooming out of nowhere, and, and he just loved that feeling that mist on him. So this is what day six is, is me and that mist bottle. <laughs> okay, and before I play the actual video, I've got it ready. I'm gonna make sure my dog quit. <laughs> it's barking. Yeah. Somebody's coming in my door. Hey Taylor, I'm live right now. Can you quiet Trooper down? My niece just walked in the door. This is mm -hmm. live, right? Okay, so if you guys can see, I think I got that template figured out, yeah? You see you at the top and me at the bottom? I can plug in and then I can hear. I haven't pushed play yet, so I'm going to yeah. push it now. Yeah, that's smart. This week I brought headphones for the iPad so I can hear. <laughs> All right.
Very cool. Uh, I'm hoping I stopped it because I think the next video is um, day seven. We'll, we'll play that one in just a minute. I don't have to get it queued up, but I think that worked okay. What'd you guys think about that? Can you believe that? So this is the first day you actually thought to spritz it and it came as soon as um, you started spritzing it, right? I, I can't think remember. maybe it was the second, second or third day. Yeah. I think in the one of the videos from last week, um, I was squirting him and he was, he turned. Oh, that's right. Because we watched him take yeah. a bath and wash himself <laughs> He got lots of baths from me. <laughs> what amazes me is how close you were able to actually, with the camera and, and zooming in, and not even zooming in because you obviously were right in its face. Oh, yeah. Just, he, he wasn't scared of me at all. Um, anyway, this this uh, day seven and the music, some of you uh, music um, lovers out there, the music for this one is the theme from Forrest to Gump. And uh, it's one of my favorite pieces of music. And, and this day seven is when I took footage of me petting him. So this, is, this was your absolute favorite day and what you remember, <laughs> right? Well, let yeah. me get that queued up. Hello, Dwayne. Thank you for coming. Yes. OK, so bear with me here and let me get this next video up. In the other OBS stream, I had them all queued and ready. So because I had to start the stream over now, I'm having to go fish them. Oh, <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, what I will probably do is capture the entire playlist and then I'll pause it so that the next video would just automatically play. I put videos uh, five through eight in a playlist on my channel. So mm -hmm. the next one won't take quite as long. I think this was my favorite one too when I first got to see it. Oh, I'll put my headphones back in. Okay, I'm gonna switch up here. That should work. And pressing play now, guys. There we go. Oh, I have to say real quick, I love this music too.
Okay, I wanted to pause that. <laughs> These are, we're going to keep going here, guys. Oh, Dwayne says, the melody reminds me of Eric Clapton, too. Can you hear me okay, Patty? Yeah. I get I get so teary-eyed when I watch that sometimes. <laughs> oh, you know, and I, I feel it too because, and that's why so badly I wanted when we do these streams to be able to have you and I watching the video together because I wanted to experience it with you. And when it was just on the screen last week, I was like, I want to see what Patty's feeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that was such a special time. Okay. And it's so incredible that that was 10 years ago and that you were able to capture a moment on video so that you can relive it and also others can too. I'm so happy that you, you've got, you got the inclination to grab your camera, you know, because yeah. the first three days, for those of you who are watching, the first three days, Patty got to experience this and thought to herself, Oh my gosh. Well, maybe he'll come again. I'm getting my camera ready. And then he yeah. kept coming back. <laughs> That's uh. so cool. <laughs> so that day, you really had the hope that he would return. But, oh, yeah. But he may not. Mm -hmm. So what were you thinking? Oh, I <laughs> Oh, every every evening I would, when I'd sit and edit these videos, um, I I would just I had to keep my faith that he would be there next the next day. But I was also you know just having those few days. I knew if he wasn't going to be there, I'd be fine because you know, who who gets to pet a red dragonfly? <laughs> Yeah, who does? I mean, have you talked to anybody else that this has happened to personally? I mean, I've seen just a very few rare videos on YouTube. Yeah, there's a there's when um, a couple people found me. I guess they were searching for red dragonflies, and uh, some of the comments on these old videos, if you scroll back, it's um, I think there were like two people out there that said I saw a red dragonfly. This was a couple years after I had. Uh, experienced this one lady commented that um she had had one and it actually let um, sat on her hand and um and it was so funny because you kathy were um looking for videos and you commented on this particular video of that lady oh yeah and yeah tell that story comment, i had commented like eight years ago on that same video <laughs> yeah um it, that's crazy, isn't it? I remember it because I had commented because you had shared these with me a few weeks back before we decided to do this live. And that one struck me and she had said that she had also had that and I went to her channel. She didn't have the video of it, of course. Or did, no, yeah. she was the one that did have a video of it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And oh, okay, yeah. And you commented on her video, but I didn't see your comment until I emailed you back. And I was like, did you see this? This lady actually held a red, red yeah. dragonfly too. And you're like, scroll down in the comments. <laughs> you did eight years ago. Yeah. It's a, it, you know, you think about YouTube as this huge, huge platform. And, and then something like that happens where, you know, you come across a video that I came across eight years ago. And, <laughs> Yeah. I gotta go get some tissue. My nose is just go get right some tissue. Head. I'll read you what Alien said too. Oh, sorry. Can you still hear me while you're getting your tissues? We'll be right back, guys. We still have two more videos to share in this live stream as well. I'm so glad. I know it's almost one o'clock. We were gonna go 12 yeah. to 1, but yeah. I think we're still going good on time. And yeah, of course. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to edit this live stream again so I can cut out the first 20 minutes. But you know what? By next week, we're going to get this straight. Didn't, I, didn't I say that last week? Yeah. <laughs> Although I, okay. I have to say I'm so glad we're able to experience this with you so they can see your reaction again, even 10 years later. Mm -hmm. um, Alien said, Patty, this is one of those things that you can't explain to people because they just look at you funny. 
<laughs> yeah. Yes, right. Before we watch the next video, can you tell me, was your family involved in this? I know you had brought Tessa when she was two years old outside. Yeah. What were you saying to your family and friends like during this time? Or were you still in like a voided time mm -hmm. period? This was My only day seven, eight been a week of this yeah. of course andy my husband he was like yeah we had we had built this lot of little tiki bar outside and so he would he, he was always sitting out there when it was nice and so he a lot of the times he was like you know sitting out there while i was sitting out there too and um so but anyway he, he had, saw it too he just didn't want to be on the camera oh yeah he saw he saw and i said honey come pet him he's like no no i'm not gonna get near him <laughs> but I did have some friends um, in the town that I lived in. Um, one lady, uh, two houses down, she would come over, and nobody wanted to get close to him. But I'm like, he he'll be fine. Go. <laughs> but I had I did have a couple friends come. Um, one of my friends, uh, her and her daughter, you know, they were watching these videos uh, as I was loading uploading them at night. And she actually said, I've got to come see this dragonfly. I'm like, come over and come over at this time and we'll sit and we'll wait on him or either he'll already be there in the morning. So, yeah, it was fun to. But no one pet. else tried to pet the dragonfly or hold the dragonfly. No, no, nobody, nobody wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to queue up this next video. I think it's already ready. We're on day eight, correct? Day eight, okay. yes. All right. Here we go. Let's press play. Let me mute you. Never get tired of it. Let me pause that last one before we get started here. So you went to church after that day. Did you talk about it at church? Did you talk about it with people that day when you went to church? <laughs> oh, they were all following it. Yes, <laughs> they were all. Thanks, Dwayne. Do you guys, does anyone have any questions about the first few videos that we've shown? Um, we'll pause for just a moment here if anybody has any questions. If not, we're going to keep on going right on to our. This was, remind me, how, what have we seen? We still have. Day nine and ten. Um, no, we have one more. We have for one today. more for today, and then we can. So, if you guys hang out with us, we'll go ahead and watch this next video here, and then we'll talk with the chat and see if they have any questions. I'm good.
I love the music that, that you pick each time, Patty. <laughs> that you kept the sound in for that part. Very cool, Patty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that was one of those days I, I got up and I'm like, he wasn't there. But, you know, I was okay with the fact that I had, you know, had him all those those previous eight days. But then I, I'm not one to give up. And I went out there that evening. <laughs> and then I sprayed my bottle and then I looked up and there was one and then there were two. And they were just, they were up there just going so fast. You know, kind of, it looked like they were fighting to see who got, who was going to come down. Isn't that crazy? And I mean, I'm curious. I know we're going to keep going with the story. And I, I can't remember, but did they both come back every day after that? I can't. No, no. It ended up just being the same one. Yeah. I don't, but do you know the history of, of dragonflies? Like how they, they come when it's almost fall, I do believe. And. They don't stay around long, right? They come, they mate, then they only live for so long. Isn't that right? Yeah. I, I did some research, and from what I remember, I, one of the videos, I, I did a bunch of fun facts about red dragon, or about dragonflies. And from, from what I remember, of course, it, it starts as a larva in the water. A dragonfly starts underwater. I saw and a I, video on YouTube where someone actually sees... Of dragonfly laying eggs and it's 
thousands, like just shooting, yeah. flying, hovering above the water and shooting eggs into the water, like deep diving their eggs down into the water. <laughs> yeah, fascinating. I remember, reading, I remember reading, and I, I can't say that this is correct, but it did catch my eye that they are four years under the water. I don't know where I read that or if it's true, but I read four years underwater. That's from egg to where they morph into this, you know, they don't go from egg to dragonfly. There's a whole process that happens. And then they're only uh, usually have a 30 day. Once they leave the water, it's usually only like a month, 30 day lifespan. So, so this guy spent almost his whole life <laughs> with me. <Aww. laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's a really cool way of thinking about it. Oh yes, dragonflies are great for mosquitoes. Does anyone have any questions? And I, I, remember I said I wanted to. I I have a dragonfly collection, and I wanted to bring a couple things yeah. each week. So um, my neighbor. Um, gave me this let's see i can see it it is a music box with a oops it is a music box oh and how with appropriate a, with you playing the ambira dragonfly yes it plays my favorite things oh yeah and the dragonfly is one of your favorite things yes exactly <laughs> wow that's just crazy now do you play that you, you have that video on your channel of the song you playing. These are a few of my I favorite haven't done this. You haven't? Yeah, I haven't done that yet, but it is on my list to do. Oh, and you've got to have a dragonfly in it. <laughs> you're going yeah, to yeah. You're gonna have to edit the footage that you have with the song while you play it. That would be nice. Yeah. yeah. I, did, I did do an original uh, piece about a year or so ago maybe a year and a half ago, and I named it Dragonfly. Um, and it's played on my my little, ah, it's not in this room right now. I have a small um, uh, array of bear, a little bitty one. And so I, I composed this piece, and I did put snippets of, of this red dragonfly in that video. Oh, uh, well, if you send me the link to that one as well, I'll make sure that I add okay. it to the description of this video. So. Okay, okay, so okay. Anyone who might be watching this replay might be interested in finding that as well. So we'll make sure we link yeah. all four of yeah. the videos that we watched today will be posted in the description of this video. Yeah, watch this here. Here's a card a friend sent me. And when you open it up, let me see. Oh, wow. How artistic. Wow. He's like a 3D dragonfly. <laughs> wow. What is the, What are the wings made with? It's paper. Wow. Everything is paper. Oh. That's very cool. Yes. <laughs> Where do you keep that? Do you keep it folded up or do you not keep it open on display? I, I, I go back and forth because if he stays open too long, then his wings will start drooping. Right. So I have to kind of reset him every once in a while. Very cool. These, these, these pieces, these dragonfly pieces, they stay, um, I have like a breakfast credenza in my dining room and I've got all my dragonfly stuff on there. The collection that you showed last week had some very artistic cards and paper. Is it the same art artist or? No, no, this is, this is actually a company. It's called Love Pop oh. and they have all kinds of gorgeous cards, you know, li lily pads and butterflies and um, Love Pop? Love Pop, yeah. Very cool. And yeah, um, I've this is kind of a cool story. Um, we have a, a, a compassion child. If you're familiar with the, the organization Compassion uh, International, it's where you you have a, a kiddo from in poverty. In oh yes, country. okay. I, I yeah, don't know we that that's I. We have different names for different organizations where you can adopt a child overseas or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. And we've had her, um, she's Tessa's age, and they've kind of grown up together, though very far apart. But she knows my red dragonfly story. You know, we write letters back and forth. And um, the only thing that we're allowed to send those kids, you know, other than financial stuff that, that, that the people there can go shopping for them, we can only send paper. 
you know, at, for birthday or, you know, uh, whenever we want to. You can't send care birthday. packages. No, no. And it's heartbreaking because I want to send her other things, but I can't. But for her birthday this year, I went to this card company and I found two of these dragon. It's not just like this, but I, I found her two dragonfly cards. And Very cool. I would have anything to see her face because they just don't see stuff like this. To see her face open uh, when she opened it up, I, I would just have loved to have seen her. And I still wonder um, if they even let her have it because they're even particular about how fancy something can be that the kids receive. But did you get a letter back that she actually did get to see it? You I just will. don't know if she got to keep it? It takes three months for us to get a letter back and forth. You haven't heard so back yeah, her birthday was the end of March. So it's March, April, May. I'm still waiting on um, a letter from... Ooh, maybe during our series you'll see it. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that would That'd be very cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm really enjoying this series. I'm so happy mm -hmm. you're able to share this with me. Well, I am happy too. And thank you for doing it. And thank you for all your hard work on the... Uh, well, okay. um, well, thank you for being so patient about that. We'll get it worked out. I think this one worked out a little bit better, but unfortunately I will have to edit again the beginning, but hopefully next week. <laughs> Three times a charm, right? Three <laughs> times a charm. <laughs> and so next week we have, you want to give anybody a teaser? Oh, I haven't even looked to see what the next week, um, let me look real It'll quick. It'll be day 9, 10, 11, and 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. Are we, uh, we might do five next week and five next week. Um, we do um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right? Because there's 18. Right. We could do five next week and five the following week. Uh, we could do that, and then it would just cut a week off of... Um, Cut it down to four weeks doing this. Oh, so if we did, otherwise we'd have to do four. Well, and do, oh, we have. We were going to do four um, next week, four the following week, and then save those. Oh, okay, let's do that. Two, let's do that. For the fifth one. That's something I'm yeah. just, I'm not good with math. <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> you know, the same musicians are supposed to be good at math, but I am, I am the perfect <laughs> That not being true. Yeah, no, that's good. So we'll do, um, I'll pull up a playlist before next week. So 9, 10, 11, and 12. All righty. <laughs> so we're going to probably wrap up. We have, I think, Dwayne and Alien were in here. Um, I may have to refresh my screen. I'm not sure if they are still in here, but we, we are very grateful for anyone who is coming and sharing this experience. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I love spending time with you, Patty. You too. I love you uh, spending time with you also. <laughs> We're kindred spirits. Yeah, I, I do. I do think so too. It's been a lot of fun. So, all right. We're going to wrap this up. I'm going to go ahead and put in my outro. And then I think um, I will connect with you in just a second. From there. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye, everybody. Mwah.